Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. In this series, we will be revisiting a video I made about a year ago called Tibetan Yoga Warm-Ups. And I've expanded it to be a full 60-minute class, and here I will be presenting it in four parts. I hope you enjoy. All righty, let us begin. First, we're going to sit in our diamond position. So just place your hands behind you, extend your legs out in front like staff pose, Dandasana. Keep your legs drawn together, bend the knees slightly so your heels will slide back towards you. Externally rotate the legs, keep the heels together, and this makes our diamond shape in the legs. Just hold on to the legs right below the knees and if you're pulling gently with the heels as well as with the hands, it should help you feel like you're sitting right on top of the sits bones. Your spine is lifting, the shoulders are relaxed down, and we're also lifting from the back of the skull. So just be comfortable sitting in this position, and let's hold on to the right ankle and vigorously shake the foot. So we're opening the ankle joints here. And let's do the other side. Just keep the foot nice and loose. Again, let's do the right. And just let the breath flow. And the left. Also just getting the energy circulating in the feet. Now if you can balance on the sits bones and tail, alternate shaking the feet. And let's come back into the diamond position and do leg rotations. Hold on to the right foot and make circles going up towards your forehead and down the body and across the floor. You can make big circles or small. We'll just do about three or four on each side. Again, let the breath flow and just do your best to keep your spine upright. So if you're pulling just a little bit with that foot that's on the floor, it'll help you to be more upright. And you're using your arms, but you're also including the use of your legs to make these circles. All nice and easy. And come back into your diamond position. Now pull the feet in towards the pelvis for our bound angle position. We'll make fists with the thumbs tucked under the fingers. Press the knuckles down onto the floor behind you, focusing particularly on the first and second knuckles. Extend the elbows, lift the spine, and bounce the knees. So just let the hips start to open and relax. Keep the shoulders down, nice long neck. You can also do this grabbing onto the toes and pulling the heels towards the pelvis, bouncing the knees. You can lift the pelvic floor, draw the navel back and slightly up. You can also lower the chin and tuck it back, slightly feeling the lift at the back of the skull. And relax. Let's go back into our diamond position, but this time keep the toes pointed soles of the feet together, you can hold on to your legs. Let's pull the right foot in, place the hands on the floor, inhale, lift your spine, and on the exhale, just slide forward, about halfway is fine, and inhale back up. Bring the feet together, and now pull the left foot in. Inhale as you place the hands on the floor, lifting, and exhale, sliding forward. Inhale back up. Let's do that again. Pull the right foot in. Inhale. Here, feel the lift at the front of the spine. And as you go down, keep feeling that lift. Maybe you can go down further. Maybe you can bring your head down towards the foot. Inhale back up. Other side. Again, feel this lift. And the lift continues to the back of the skull. So on your exhale, slide forward, going further if you like and inhale come up now we'll do both legs i'll just turn sideways so you can see a little better hands on the floor inhale 
and exhale, slide forward. Again, just halfway is fine. Inhale back up. Let's do that again. On your next exhale, now you can go down a little further. And let's stay here for just a moment. Place the hands on the floor and push. And also push with your feet. Let the pelvis roll backward. And feel this nice stretch all along the back of the body. You can release your head down and let that stretch continue into the neck and the scalp. All right, look at your feet, flex your feet, and with your hands, pull back your toes. Keep your spine parallel to the floor and inhale, pull with your hands and lengthen the spine forward. Exhale, soften and relax. Now we'll start to arch up. Inhale, looking a little more forward and start to scoop up. Exhale, soften. So try your best to feel the arch at your sacrum. Inhale, come up a little higher, still pulling your toes back. Exhale, soften and release. And then on the last one, fully extend the arms. Lift the front of your spine, lift your chest, look up. And then release the arms. Let the arms float back, inhale. And exhale, dive the arms behind you as you round your back. Externally rotate the arms so your fingers face back. Let's arch and look up and then lean back on the hands. So just release your head onto the shoulders, feeling it soft, kind of like a sponge, the neck and the shoulders. And then on your next inhale, press the hands and feet down and lift your pelvis up. So the legs are still in the diamond shape, the knees are apart. And just keep the pelvis lifted as much as is comfortable for you. And gently shift your weight to the right and then to the left. And feel this in the shoulders and the arms and the wrists. Just gently shifting side to side, keeping the head released back. Inhale, lift the pelvis a little higher in the center. And when we come out, keep your head back as you lower the pelvis to the floor. When you're sitting down, you press the spine forward and at the end, the head and neck come up. And let's stretch our legs back into our staff pose, Dandasana. And we'll do head to knee, Janu Shushasana. Bring your right foot in fully bending that right knee and making about a 90 degree angle. Just make sure your sits bones are equally grounded and we'll spiral to face the left leg. Inhale here, hands on the floor. And again, exhale, we'll just fold forward about halfway is fine. Inhale up. Let's do the other side. So straighten the right leg, bring the left leg in and just check that you're equally sitting on both sits bones, spiral so that you can face the right leg. Hands on the floor, inhale, and exhale forward. Inhale, come up. We'll do that again. Extend the left leg. So as uh, we're in this position, feel like you can reach your right knee back as you're reaching your left heel forward. Inhale. Exhale, you can go further down if you like. You can bring your head all the way down to the knee and feel the knee and the heel reaching away from each other. Inhale, come up, change sides. And reach that left knee back, the right heel forward. Inhale, lift your spine and exhale, slide forward. Keep reaching that knee back and do your best to keep your sits bones grounded. Inhale, come up. All right, we're gonna do our curl back sequence. I'll turn sideways again so you can see more clearly. Place the hands behind you and we're gonna roll back onto the sacrum and bring the forehead and the knees towards each other. Let's cross the right leg over the left, extend the left leg, and this creates our marichasana position. If it's difficult to cross the foot over the leg, you can keep the foot on the same side, but cross over if you can, and hug the knee into the chest. Inhale, lift your spine, and exhale, feel this in the lumbar spine, the lower back. So don't worry about the chest and the shoulders right now. Feel this more in the lower back. And release, 
Let's curl back, rolling onto the sacrum. Nice flexion in the spine. And then cross the left leg over the right, extend the right leg. Marichasana, C. This is modified. On the other side, hug the knee into the chest. Inhale, lift, and exhale, spiral. Again, feeling this more in the lower back, the lumbar spine. And release. Let's curl back. And if you want to challenge yourself further, extend your legs, continuing to bring the forehead and the knee towards each other. Cross the right leg over the left. Of course, you can keep the knees bent. Ardha Matsyandrasana. So bend both knees. You can repeat the last position if that is more accessible to you. And hug the knee into the chest. Inhale, the right arm lifts, so your spine is lifting as well. And exhale, place the hand on the floor behind you. So with this support, now you can bring your elbow to the opposite side of the knee. Inhale, lift. And now we're going to add the ribs and the shoulders. So this is our thoracic spine. So don't worry about your neck and your head at this point. And release. So let's curl back, forehead to knees, extend the legs, and cross the left over right, and bend both knees. So first, we hug the knee into the chest. This is for the lumbar spine. Inhale the left arm up. Lift the spine. Exhale, place it on the floor behind you. Again, with the support, you can bring your elbow to the other side of the knee. Inhale, lift. And now feel the spiral continuing with the ribs and the shoulders turning. And release. Okay, last one, curling back onto the sacrum, extend the legs, and we'll cross the right leg over the left, and we're going to stack our knees into our Gomukhasana position. And I'll turn forward here, so I'm mirroring you. So your right leg should be on top. Now the feet might not be lined up, so pull that top foot back a little bit, walk that bottom foot forward a little, and you can readjust your pelvis, feeling equal on the sits bones. You can grab your toes, lift them, and then press the balls of the feet into the floor. Inhale, lift your belly, and exhale, fold forward, just as far as you can go. Maybe you can rest your chin on the knee. And just let the breath flow. Inhale, come up. And we'll do our final spiral to the right, hands on the floor. So feel this in the lumbar spine. And then feel this in the thoracic spine, the ribs and the shoulders. And then we add the cervical spine. So we inhale, lift. And on the exhale, you're turning your head so your chin goes towards your shoulder. And you can even look with your eyes, looking out of the corner of the eyes. Energetically spiraling all the way to the crown of the head. And release. So let's lean back onto the sacrum, extend the legs. And now the left leg crosses over the right and stack your knees. If you have difficulty stacking your knees, you can do either of the previous positions. So adjust your feet, adjust your pelvis, and hold onto the toes. Just gently lift them off the floor and press the balls of the feet down. Inhale, lift your belly. And on the exhale, let's fold forward and feel the stretch in the back as well as the hips. And if you can, you can rest your chin on the knee. Inhale, come up. And we'll spiral to the left. So feel this first in the lumbar spine. So the goal is to feel the spiral from the base of the spine up towards the top of the head. So we start at the base, then we add the middle, the ribs and the shoulders, and then we add the cervical spine. So we inhale, lift, and exhale, turn your head so your chin goes towards the shoulder, and you can look out of the corner of the eyes, and this energetically brings the spiral all the way up to the crown of the head. And release. And to finish, we just do a little resting uh, position in our diamond shape with the feet together, so toes pointed. Place the hands together 
and just rest your hands on your feet. Inhale, lift your spine, and exhale, just release forward, and take a few long deep breaths here. You can release your head and neck, shoulders down from your ears, and you can gently push with your feet. Feel like you're rolling the pelvis backward and feel this nice stretch all along the back of the body. And when you feel complete, you can come back up and relax. And that completes this sequence.